like, hey, you like, hey, like you, you could do this, you could do that. And it's just so sad that it, it, it gets, it hurts me because it's like, wow, these people are really fighting for us. It's fighting for our country. It's fighting for us to be able to be free. It's, it's fighting for us to, to, to live right. And they just don't get the proper service after they get dispatched or after they get hurt. And that really meant something to me. Like, um, it's amazing to, to see that. And then today, today, um, I went to, uh, a women's center, a women's center of women that, you know, they just got released from prison. And, like, it just has me, like, in a, an emotional pickle today. Like, today, i just been emotional the whole day because I have heard so many different stories from these women. And, um, you know, there's a lot of things that, like, I noticed that it's, like, no matter what situation you're in or, like, where, where it, in a point of life, like, it's, like, I feel like so many women we are going through so many things in our little different ways and it just it helped me realize today you know what i realized today that it's like you don't have to be in a depression like you don't have to be depressed to go to therapy or to have conversations with people like in 2019 and everything i was going to therapy because i was very fucking depressed and i don't really talk about it and now i'm in a better space but what I didn't notice today is that I do need to speak to people. Like speaking and talking about how I'm feeling, it 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 do makes me feel better. It do open my soul. And I'm so happy that um a lot of these women today they, they share their story with me and it just it just broke my heart and I it just shows me how strong women are, like to adapting to society, to picking up the pace right after getting out of jail because they have children and um, how much they battled, battled that emotion in from coming home to just having to pick up the pace without nobody talk, talking to. And it's just, it's just amazing. And I'm, I feel like this community service was really like a blessing in disguise because I just been on my work, work, shit, work, shit, work, shit, mother, shit, like work, shit, mother, shit, home, shit, wifey, shit. And, um, if it wasn't for this community service, I probably would have never like done what I did yesterday and today and what I'm going to continue doing. And I have learned so much and I have, I have like, I don't know, I just opened up so, so much and I just feel so good. Like, I feel so good. Like, and I'm grateful. Like, you, you just never know. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful for these two days of community service. So I just want to tell the judge or the DA or whoever's making me this community service, like, it's like, like, um, I know this was like a punishment for me and like the punishment that I do feel is a punishment is like waking up early, but it, it also has been a blessing to me because I have learned so much and I, and it teach me like to appreciate my life and it teach me to appreciate others as well. And it taught me like, there's so many people going through so many things. And as an adult, we all have in common is that it's never going to get better. It's, it's, it's going to get better, but it's like life is never going to be always easy because as an adult, you're just always going to have a responsibility. And you're more than just uh, you're more than just a veteran. You're more than just a ranger. Like you're more than your career. You're more than than what you offer. And yeah, just really happy. Yeah, yep, that's what I want to say. I told you I was gonna be a boring live. I told you I was gonna be a boring live. I just like, wow, it's just what an amazing experience. And thank you guys. Bye. <laughs>